The Tomato Project represents really the best of what can happen when technology, nonprofits, and local business partners all along the food system come together to explore how to make nutritious, delicious food more accessible to communities like Peterborough. The goals of this program are threefold. We aim to grow great kids, nutritious food, and build strong community. These young people are passionate advocates for a cultural shift in food systems and food education. The Internet of Tomatoes project is a complex experiment that involves multiple goals that can provoke local and potentially global shifts in the food economy. Kelly and I, as well as the rest of the fellows, are very excited to see how the tomatoes we have grown in our hoop house perform in this experiment. Furthermore, we are enjoying the hands-on testing that comes with this new technology. Through this project, we expect farmers to improve growing practices and make more money. In the coming findings of differences in taste, nutrient levels, and general ripeness between local tomatoes and imported tomatoes, our hopes are to boost sales for local food. We are thrilled to be exploring the boundaries of possibilities with innovative companies like RiteBio and Analog Devices. Analog Devices, uh, for those of you who don't know, is a 50-plus-year-old company uh, making a lot of the technology that helps sense and measure the world around us. And what we found is that the technology could very easily fit into the normal operations of a, of a farm. So to apply technology to make tomatoes better tasting, uh, to help tomatoes be more profitable for the farmer, and ultimately be more sustainable, more healthy, more local. And so we've deployed a number of different sensors. Basically, they're out there measuring the environment for the tomatoes. How are they grown? What are, what are the temperature, humidity, and light conditions? And we've already seen where one of our other partners has been able to use that data to make better decisions around what happens when the temperature is too low or the humidity is too high. And a lot of that, again, is, is maybe experimental knowledge, but is now being validated and supported with data. Blockchain is the way of capturing all of that data and allowing people to make claims about those tomatoes and authenticate those claims. So if you think, for example, of what the fellows were describing, one of the things we're testing is whether local tomatoes are better than imported tomatoes. And we all hope that is the case, <laughs> and it is proven out to be, to be true so far. But we need to prove that, right? So saying it is one thing and believing somehow by tasting them that it's better is one thing. What we're trying to do is just help people like, you know, the Farm to Four Hoop House of Cornucopia, Hannah and her team, as well as Farmer John's as other people, to show that intrinsically those tomatoes are better. So we want to grow the whole ecosystem from an ag and a food standpoint, but we also believe that there will be a, you know, some application on the technology side because there's a lot of development that is truly applicable to the, the produce in Peterborough very specifically. Since agriculture is local, a lot of the science of ag and food will also become quite local. So what we're hoping to do is basically encourage all of that to grow. The first thank you goes out to our technology partners. That would be Analog Devices and Ripe.io. So without your support, this project didn't happen. So thank you for including Cornucopia uh, in this really special endeavor. Yeah.